What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Getting the truck ready. Got her attached to the trailer. Looking at all my connection points, my chain, and my safety cable for the brake. This is my emergency brake cable. If we shall unfortunately lose the trailer, it's basically going to activate the trailer brakes and a uh, trailer will basically stop. So it won't be a runaway trailer. Uh, gotta head down the road. I got a customer that has a uh, AC unit that they need to have removed, a barrel full of old oil and some other stuff. I, I need to make a run and pick up my uh, nephew. So I'm gonna give the customer a call just to let him know. I'll see him about like 11.30ish. This gentleman, he heard from other neighbors about the work that I do. So he decided to work with me. Today, we are gonna make his day. It's a, a senior client of mine. The gentleman, he told me, he was like, look, look, sir. He was like, uh, you know, back during my days, I could do this, babe. I, I could pick up a, a window AC unit. I could pick up a, a, a barrel full of uh, old fluid. He, he also has a push lawnmower. And, and then he also said that he has two tables, uh, heavy tables. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I try to treat my clients. You know, I do my best to treat them like family. You know, it's the same thing I do with my viewers. I treat you guys and you know, ladies. Uh, treat you like family. Treat everybody with respect and love is because that's what I want to get in return. You know, you treat somebody how you want to be treated. I'm always in the spirit of giving. Always in the spirit of giving. Oh, I also forgot uh, my buddy. My buddy Nick, he, uh, he gave me a call just a couple of minutes ago. He's got a big historic old screen TV that he's trying to get rid of from his house so he basically stated he can get it outside he just needs somebody to uh, haul it away so I told him like okay I can definitely do that I can definitely do that the next video is probably more so gonna be uh, when I have the items on the on the back of the truck all right guys this is the dump trailer 7 by 12 that's my uh, step stool. Apparently empty. I got some uh, debris in here from when I had a gorilla here, so I had to sweep this up and put that all in trash. Uh, my step stool, I usually leave that in there. Step stool is real beneficial for whenever you have to get in and out of the dump trailer. So I usually bring that, I put it on the ground. If I'm carrying some heavy, I put it down on the bed, you know, on an actual bed platform. And then, so I use a step ladder to step up, grab uh, the side of it, and then step up, you know, on the step ladder, and then walk up, and then grab the item and put it in the back. That's how I usually do it. Instead of, you know, breaking my back, trying to hold on to the uh, edge and try to, you know, put my foot on the ledge and then, you know, power my way up. You know, eventually that's gonna, uh, that wear and tear is gonna, it's gonna get you when you get older. It's gonna get you, so, uh, to try to keep myself young. That's what I that's what I usually do. If you got a dump trailer or looking to get the dump trailer, don't forget to get yourself a, a uh, step stool. Just trust me, get in and out of these dump trailers or dump trucks. Uh it's, 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 it's gonna it's gonna get you. It's gonna get you when you get older. How many more bites? Is there any more bites? Yeah, 
Yeah, one more. One more? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so all these bikes, I'm gonna just take these bikes to the scrap metal. So, grilling radiators, right? Yeah, the grill and uh, there's some more tables inside of the, the actual shit. Alright. Oh, thank you. Trying to think what, what else we have up there. Ooh. Didn't mean to do that. So we got a uh, TV that was picked up, big screen TV, and also uh, this uh, dresser. So what's that? Add on. Old school and the furniture. Yeah, this stuff here I'm gonna take to the scrap metal place uh, as well as the bikes and this Weber here. I'm afraid to open it because I don't know if it's was in there. Um, guys, about to find out in a few minutes. Let me put my gloves on. But. So that's getting scrap. Yeah, it does too. All right, and the bikes, all this stuff is getting. And I'm gonna see if I can take this thing too to the scrap metal place. So. Took the trailer off for the time being to pick up some items. It's a property that my uh, father managed. Uh, parts here I can take as well. So, let me get situated. Let me uh, throw that on the back. I need to move this stuff around. So, let me get that loaded and I'll be back, guys. All right, guys. Got her up there. She's on. Shucks, we may end up having a... Uh, full trailer full of uh, scrap load here now with this i really don't have to uh we don't have to do much to secure this because it's it's in there it's not gonna roll too far let's get it nice and tight so this thing can close let me uh look at this so i can get that uh right so that way this thing can Let's get it right and I'll be back. All right, guys, here's an update. That water tank, we're also going to take this with us too. So that way we'll put these items in our dump trailer and then tomorrow I'll come back. That's there. I'll grab that. This 
definitely this. Come back in. Grab this bad boy here. So let's go ahead and get packed up and uh, head down the road. Do I stop him? Keep going. All right. Nice facility here. All right, so I got a gentleman over there that I have to uh, wait to see if he uh, like weighs me off. He'll tell me where, when to go. I don't think he's ready yet. All right, guys, got everything, everything ready to dump. Let's go ahead and just dump. Dump was here. Make sure everything's out the way. <sighs> Dump whatever's at the top out. So that way we can uh, let go. I still got that uh, oil on the back, so. All right, we're dragging a, uh, a bike. Ah, oh, okay. Cause it's stuck right here. All right, let me get this unleashed and I'll be back with guys. So guys, this trip was definitely well worth it. It's definitely well worth it. The staff is friendly. The layout, man, it's just it's so convenient for people to have trailers just in general. It's so convenient. These other uh, scrappy old places that I went to, it's a lot of chaos. And I'm not saying because of you know the environment. It's not structured for so many people coming in and out, you know, at other places. But this place, oh my gosh, everybody's patient, everybody's in place, in order. I'm, I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's wonderful here. Yeah, definitely. This is, this is my go-to place for uh, scrap metal. They take a lot of material here, including, you know, car parts. If you got car parts that you want to make some money off of, bring it here. And without further ado, guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Peace.